Good morning. So today is a Tuesday and on a Tuesday we have my niece come round and she's actually helping us on the farm today. We've just got some cattle or calves brought in as well as we need to move my valets, my sheep. So I thought I'd film today for you. But before all that, everyone watches the start of the video, not necessarily makes it to the end. So kind of wanted to have this chat with you guys before I get into the video. Um, I'm going to be chatting about mental health. So if you do find it a bit of a trigger or what have you, I'm going to put like a time here that you can skip on to if you just want to watch the video. But I would encourage just watching this a little bit. It won't be long. Um, it's not a subject I really want to talk about currently, but I feel I... I would be going against everything I've talked about in the past, mental health, let's talk about it, everything like that, if I didn't speak about it right now. Um, like I said, I kind of don't want to go into details, but a lot of my audience are male. Um, they work in agriculture and everyone knows the statistics about males in farming, mental health, suicide. So I'm going to put like a here i don't know or in the description i think i'm gonna put it here and in the description of helplines any help that you can get services anything like that and it is okay not to be okay and just getting that help is honestly i don't even know how to put it into words i know it's hard asking for help and i'm one of those people i would never ask for help whether it comes to the smallest jobs less so when it comes to mental health so i want to put these services here because they will help and i've put them on my instagram and my tiktok recently and i have had people that have literally said to me these services saved my life and that just says it all um so like i said i wasn't going to talk long on it but i just felt i would be going against everything said before if i didn't speak on it right now um so i'm gonna go to the farm quickly i'm gonna get ossie um i think we're gonna move the sheep first and then i'll go down with her with the calves so like i said we've got about 90 calves that have been delivered yesterday morning um mainly blues i think majority of them are blues um i actually haven't been down and seen them yet um actually um, I spoke to M Drinkle, I'm sure you probably all know her from TikTok. And we've actually got one of her calves, which is kind of weird because she comes from Cheshire and we're down in Devon. Um, so these calves were about four months old, so they went to a calf era and then now it's back with us. So I just kind of feel like it's done a 360 on social media and come back to me um, so you can watch them get finished all the way from the start with M having them with the calves and then all the way back to us when they finish. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video and like I said if you need those services they will all be linked down below. Now Otty what are we going to go and do? Move back here and move the sheep. Yeah Maxie the horse is currently in the stables with the sheep when we only need the sheep in the stable so look Maxie's out of the stable. Oh can you see the bunny rabbit? That was a little bunny rabbit. Yeah. It was literally around the corner. I think all the sheep are hiding in the stable. Blue and red. They're blue and red. So basically, back a week or two ago, um, we just wormed and fly striped them. And the red is because it's been in with the big boy, the ram. So oh, that's big boy. It's over there. Yeah. Over there. With his little red patch. You see him? Yeah. And how do we know big boy's different from the girls? What's different? Big boy's only got how many horns? He's got one horn. He's got one horn and all the girls have got two horns. Not that that's genetically correct, but just that's how she tells the difference. Right, should we go and get them some food to stay in the yeah. stables? Yeah. You get the big bucket then. And where's the sheep food? In here. Well done. And is your little bucket in there? Oh. Oh. I need a little bucket. That's your little bucket.
Doing a great job. What's that? A little bit of straw or hay. Hay. That's Maxie's hay. Oh. Can you do me one more? It's easy to do, Ted. Great job. That's enough now. Should we go and feed that to the sheep? I just need to do one more sheep. We don't need one more, but looks like we're doing it anyway. No, that's that's enough now. Do you want to pop the bucket in there? Right, should we go and give that to the sheep? I'll carry the, the big bucket. You carry the big bucket. Right, we've got to go and put it in the stables. Okay. So look, they're all there waiting. Can you see them all in there? All waiting for their food. Oh, that was a bit quick for them, Tootie. Right, if you stay out there, stay out there. Okay. Right, Abs is just gonna shut them all in. There we go, they're all coming in. Oh, sorry, sweet pig. Come on. In you go. We got them all in, Otty. We got them all in. Are you going to tell everyone what we've done? Yeah. What have we done? Who's in the stable? Sheep. Sheep. And we call them Big Boy and the Girlies. Big Boy and the Girlies. So that's the ram and the use. Do you think you could film for me? Do you think you could? No. Please? Look. Can you hold that? Yeah. Right, you've got to put it up. Look at, look at Grandad. Uh, I don't think that's a good job, Otty. Cheese. Where do they live? Where are the calves? 
Baby cows. Peanuts. No, <laughs> we call them calves. You know that. See, what have we just done? We did the cow. We mustn't press the button. No, we mustn't press the button. Let's go. 